So in this video, we'll start a problem on elastic constants uh, related to Young's modulus E, modulus of rigidity G, bulk modulus K, and Poisson's ratio nu. Okay. Uh, first, we'll read the problem and we'll go step by step here. A uniform round bar of 24.5 millimeter diameter. So the round bar. So this is round bar. Its diameter is 24.5 millimeter. Original diameter. So data I'll write here. So D equal to 24.5 millimeter. When subjected to an axial force, it is along the axis subjected to an axial force of 56.6 kilonewton. 56.6 kilonewton. This is so second data is axial force. Uh, it is tensile. Okay. So 56.6 kilonewton. Convert this into in terms of newton. 56.6 into 10 raised to 3 newton. Axial tensile force of 56.6 kilonewton undergoes a change in diameter. Uh, after applying a load, obviously it will change its shape along the length also, along the diameter also. So this is final, final length and final diameter. Okay. So undergoes a change in diameter. This is called change in diameter. Change in diameter by 0 0.0042. Okay, so lateral, lateral. Okay, uh, change in diameter. This is this is final diameter, but change in diameter. This and this, whatever. Okay, uh, equal to zero point zero zero four two millimeter. Next, taking modulus of rigidity as AT GPA. So he is given G, G equal to AT. GP, GP. Convert this into MPA. That is AT into 10 raised to 3. MPA, megapascal, or Newton per mm square. Both are same. Okay. GPA. Determine Poisson's ratio. We need to find out Poisson's ratio equal to how much, and uh, Young's modulus E equal to how much. Okay. So this is the problem definition. First, we will go one by one. So, how to start? He is given axial load. To find to find Poisson's ratio, uh, what are the formulas we can use? First, Poisson's ratio equal to just um, um, general formula is lateral strain divided by longitudinal longitudinal strain. So, so lateral strain in lo lateral divided by longitudinal longitudinal strain. So this is one formula and again the elastic constant formula we can use E equal to 2 times G into 1 plus nu. This is one formula derived before in the previous video and next one is E equal to if you want the relation between E and uh, uh, K 3 K into 1 minus 2 nu. This is also one more formula. So if you use these equations here also new is there here also new is there here also new is there. suppose if i want uh, if i if i use second equation here new i can find out e he is not given young's modulus this is also unknown so g he is given so these are two unknown datas so we cannot use here also k and new unknown and e also unknown so we cannot use these all the datas here so better we start with the uh, general formula so, nu equal to lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain. This normally we are using. Again, depending upon the data, what we can calculate here? Here, original diameter and change in diameter is given. So, we can calculate lateral strain along the lateral directions. So, so lateral strain, I can use, I can use the formula change in diameter along change in diameter divided by original diameter right so change in diameter is already 0 
zero zero four two millimeter divided by how much is the original diameter? Original diameter is twenty four point five. Twenty four point five millimeter. Okay. So lateral strain, we will get the uh, after simplification we will get the answer one point seven two into ten days to minus five into ten days to minus four. It is ten days to minus four. Okay. Now longitudinal strain. If I want to calculate longitudinal strain. change in length divided by original length okay but he is not given original length here he is not given original length even change in length also we cannot he is not given the data so this we cannot find out so how we go next one so we have one more formula for lateral strain right so lateral strain also also lateral strain Equal to in terms of Poisson's ratio, I can use nu into so stress linear stress divided by e, right? This is also one of the formula related to lateral. But here minus it will comes negative, but the negative will only related to whether it will undergo compression. But we should not take this into consideration while calculation. So no need to write this one. It is understood. It will undergo in compression, so it is negative. Okay, that is the thing. We already calculated lateral strain here. Okay, substitute here. One point seven two into ten days to minus four, minus four, equal to new. Also, I don't know e. Young's modulus also I need to calculate. Right? Keep it as it is e. Uh, stress. Can I calculate stress here? Stress equal to load by area. This I'll calculate here separately. Stress equal to load by area. Load is given. Yes, load is given. Fifty six point six into ten days to three. This will be equal to fifty six point six into ten days to three divided by area is pi d square by four. Pi d square. Pi d square. D is What is the original diameter? I will substitute directly here. Uh, original diameter is twenty four point five. Twenty four point five square divided by four. Pi d square by four. Okay. So calculate separately stress here. Stress is we'll get one twenty one twenty MPa. This we'll substitute here, right? Uh, stress, the stress value. So this is one twenty. One twenty into new, new into one twenty, right? One twenty MPa. So new by e. Uh, I get the new and e. In terms of the new and e, I uh, will get the equation as e equal to that is e equal to. Six point nine seven six six into ten days to minus five into ten days to minus five into new. This I just will after calculation we'll get this equation. Next we'll go to the equation. We have the formula E equal to Two G into one plus new, right? This is the derived for formula. Now substitute E in terms of new. Okay, so now I'm substituting E in terms of new. How much is there? Six point nine seven six into ten days to minus five into new, right? This is E value equal to two into a G modulus of rigidity given in the problem. 80 into 10 days to 3 MPa. Substitute 80 into 10 days to 3 MPa into 1 plus new. Okay, 
so now in this equation only new is the unknown data so why i derived this one because i want the relation between e and new to substitute here e in terms of new so if you substitute e in terms of new here also new so only one unknown data okay so calculate and simplify after simplification we will get new equal to 0.3 0.3 okay so this is the first bit we calculated now e young's modulus second once when once if you find out the new it is very easy to calculate the young's modulus because we have the same we can use same equation here we can use same equation we know g we know new so calculate e or here also you can use this also you can use the equation okay uh, therefore e equal to i i will use this one okay 6.976 into 10 raised to minus 5 into new is 0.3 so simplify we will get 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 NPE or Newton per mm square. This will be equal to uh, two two ten GP GP gigapascal. This is the values of E. Okay. This is how we need to calculate the new value at the uh, modulus of rigidity. Depends upon the data what is given. Uh, we need to check out. We will use the formula and we we will calculate. 